Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my top 15 books of 2015. So I ended up reading 151 books in um, 2015, um, and I am actually quite picky with my five-star ratings. I believe in total I only ended up giving about 11 books um, a full five-star rating. Um, I just a book really has to do a lot to kind of get me to give it five stars. Um, so this list does incorporate some books that I gave um, four and a half stars um, and 4.75 stars, um, and even though this list is um, 15 books long uh, because I could not escape the symmetry of uh, top 15 in 2015. Um, there are also two books that I would like to just give an honourable mention really quickly. The first of which is Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie. This is a coming of age story um, set um, in rural um, Australia in the 1960s that follows a 13 year old boy and kind of like as I said just his coming of age tale and it has a bit of a mystery involved in it as well. This book was just really beautifully written, it felt really honest, it also had some really interesting commentary on um, Vietnamese people living in a western country during the time of the Vietnam War which I found really interesting. Um, I rated this one four and a half stars and while it's not didn't make quite make my top 15, um, I did want to mention it because it is a really great book that more people should read. The other book that I wanted to give an honourable mention is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Um, now, Pride and Prejudice is not on this list, you will know. I did read that this year, but that was a reread, and I'm not counting rereads um, kind of in the running for this. Um, that is my favourite Jane Austen book so far, but I did also read Sense and Sensibility this year, and I really enjoyed that one, so I wanted to just also give that a quick honourable mention. Now, as you may have realised, these are not necessarily books that were published in 2015. In fact, I don't think any of these books were published in 2015. These were just books that I happened to read in 2015 that I really enjoyed and this is obviously my personal opinion so um, yeah if you any books on this list that you have been thinking about picking up I obviously think that you should definitely pick them up because I obviously really enjoyed them so let's just jump straight in and I will work my way from number 15 through to number one and my favorite book of 2015 so coming in at number 15, we actually have another Jane Austen book, and that is Emma by Jane Austen. Emma is my second favorite Jane Austen book that I have read so far. Um, I really enjoyed Emma as a protagonist. I actually, I really enjoyed the journey that I went on with Emma because when I first started reading um, the book, I actually wasn't sure if I liked her as a character, but I really did come to love her. So um, yeah, Emma is a really great Jane Austen book. As I said, it is my second favorite so far. And if you haven't picked up Emma, but you've read other Jane Austen, I would definitely recommend it. Coming in at number 14, we have Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. This is, um, a again, kind of a coming-of-age story, not really. It's about a girl dealing with something um, difficult that happened to her over some holidays and something through which she has lost all of her friends and she's going into high school and she's just dealing kind of with all that and she doesn't talk a lot. Um, to me, this is really a story about depression, about not having a voice. I found the main character really relatable. Um, I just really um, enjoyed this book. I think um, more people should read this book because I think it's a really important book and it has a lot of, um, it just speaks about a lot of really important issues in my opinion. So yes, coming in at number 14, Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. Coming in at number 13 is Winterkill by Kate A. Borman. This is a YA story that follows a main character, Emmeline, who lives in a like village or community that is surrounded by a wall. Um, they don't know anything about the outside world except that it is dangerous and they are kind of preparing for the winter kill that comes every year um, and trying to survive that. And the kind of story kind of follows Emmeline as she kind of starts to think about whether this is the place, whether everything is as it seems. Um, I really enjoyed this book. Um, it was very fast paced. I enjoyed the kind of romance that goes on in this book. Um, I actually have, this, I believe this is going to be a trilogy. I actually have the sequel out from the library right now. Right now. It's been, I actually read this right near the beginning of the year. So I'm really excited to pick up the sequel and find out what happens next. Coming in at number 12, we have Faking Perfect by Rebecca Phillips. This is a book that I've actually spoken about a couple of times on this channel now. This is a YA contemporary story that follows a girl who is in a sexual relationship with kind of a guy from her school who's kind of a bad boy, but she wants to keep the sexual relationship a secret. She doesn't want people to know that they 
um, kind of have this relationship and she also has a crush on kind of the golden boy from her school who is a friend of hers and things kind of get a bit complicated when this guy who she's having the purely sexual relationship maybe wants a bit more and possibly the guy um, that she's always had a crush on maybe starts to show a bit more interest. It sounds like a very typical YA contemporary but it really isn't. Um, it doesn't virginalize the main character at all, obviously, with her partaking in a sexual relationship. I just think it deals with a lot of YA issues a lot better than a lot of YA contemporaries. Um, and I think more people should read this kind of YA contemporary rather than some of the other YA contemporaries that are around. Um, and so I really, really enjoyed this and it definitely makes my top 15. Coming in at number 11, we have Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. This is a book that I actually just read in December. Um, this is a book that follows, um, it's set in Australia, and there has been kind of this incident at a primary school's um, like trivia night where a parent has ended up dead. That's kind of all you know right from the get-go. Um, you don't know um, which parent has even died, what the circumstances were, how they died, what happened. You just don't really know anything, and then you kind of go back. I think it's about six months before the trivia and you can't start, start seeing all the events leading into like this incident and trying to figure out who died, who, why they died, like just all of these um, interesting issues and the characters are all really interesting. Um, it was a real ride. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I definitely recommend picking it up, obviously. Coming in at number 10, we have Walking on Trampolines. Trampolines by Frances Whiting. This is a book by yet another Australian author, which is really great that so many um, Australian books are made my list um, this year. This is a book that right in the, it's like kind of a two late, two page prologue right at the start that has our main character waking up in bed with a man who has just gotten married the night before, but not to her. Um, so that was a really interesting prologue that kind of gripped me right from the beginning. This book is really about friendship. Um, that is kind of the main theme in this book, I think, and I loved kind of the commentary that this book had on friendships, on how important they can be to people in their lives. Um, I just really, really enjoyed that. Um, this book also deals uh, quite a lot with depression. Um, again, I just think this book, it just really spoke to me on a lot of levels. Um, I actually cried reading this one a couple of times. Um, it was just a really great read. Coming in at number nine is Exposed by Kimberly Marcus. This is a book that is actually written in verse that is, again, mostly about friendship. This follows two girls who have been best friends forever and something happens in their friendship and it all kind of starts to fall apart. Um, I'm not going to say what that thing is because I think that is a real spoiler, but I just found this book to be really beautiful. Again, I found the commentary on friendship just really great and um, it's a really quick, easy read because it is quite short and it is written in verse, so... Um, it's definitely an easy book for you to pick up and read, but I really, really enjoyed it. Coming in at number eight is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. This is a book I've definitely spoken about a couple of times on this channel. I actually have a um, review for this book, which I will link um, down below. It does contain spoilers, but only at towards the end, and I warn you when the spoilers are kind of coming up. Um, so... This book follows a girl who has been on spring break in Aruba when her best friend is murdered and she is accused and is basically on trial for her best friend's murder. Um, and we're kind of going back and forth between the trial, what happened before, just leading up to the murder and just all kind of, it's really interesting. I really love that format and it was just, it was just a really interesting, gripping, I just, this book was such a, fun to read like I just really 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 enjoyed it like enjoyment levels were just sky high with this book so yes I I just really really love this book and I've recommended it quite a few times on this channel uh apologies if the camera angle just changed I just ran out of memory on my memory card just went through and deleted some old footage but coming in at number seven is the saga series by Brian K Vaughan and Fiona Staples I read volumes one through four this year. I read volumes one to three in a um, bind up and then volume four I gave volumes one to three collectively a five stars and then volume four I also gave five stars. I'm sure you all know what this is about but this is a kind of space epic that follows um, a man and a woman who are from different um, planets and different like species I guess who um, fall in love even though and have a baby even though their um, species and planets are at war and just kind of deals with that story. I really 
really enjoy this story. I love it being told from the perspective of their baby. I really find that so interesting. I love the artwork in this. I just overall really, really enjoyed this and there's no way it wasn't gonna make my list. Coming in at number six is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. This is a book that, again, I've spoken about a few times, which I'm sure all of these ones from here on out are going to be because that's basically why they're so high up on my list. This is the a book in the Hercule Poirot series by Agatha Christie. Um, I really enjoy Agatha Christie as a whole, but this one in particular, it's my favourite book of hers that I've read so far. It was just absolutely mind-blowing. I can't say why, obviously, but... It was just, if you read Agatha Christie and you haven't read this book, then you need to read this book because it was just so fun and, like, as I said, mind-blowing. Coming in at number five is The Jewel by Amy Ewing. Now, I know that a lot of people really, really didn't like this book, but I really, really liked it. Yes, I, and the main problem that people have with it is the insta-love. And yes, I can recognise that this book is a bit insta-lovey. But I think there are certain kind of excuses to be made for some aspects of the insta-love. And the story overall and the world and kind of the premise of this, I just found so interesting. I devoured this book. I just enjoyed it so, so, so much. I have The White Rose at the moment, um, the sequel, and I can't wait to pick it up. Um, I just really enjoyed this book and hate is gonna hate, but I loved it. So it's coming in at number five on my list. Coming in at number four is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Now note that just Divergent is coming in, not Insurgent or Allegiant because, hmm. I loved Divergent. I had already seen the movie when I read this book and I really, really loved the movie, but I really, really enjoyed this book. It was just a five out of five star book for me. It was just so, so enjoyable. Um, I loved, I just loved it really as a whole. As I said, I didn't enjoy the rest of the trilogy anywhere near as much, but this book on its own is a five star book for me. I just, yeah, I really loved it. Coming in at number three is the Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bajugo. Again, I read all of these books um, this year, so I'm grouping them together on this list. Um, I loved this trilogy. I gave Shadow and Bone, I believe, 4.5 stars, but I gave both Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising 5 out of 5 stars. I just really enjoyed this trilogy overall, obviously. Um, it's just... A fantastic trilogy. Um, I'm so excited to pick up Six of Crows, um, which is set in this same world because I hear amazing things about that. But this trilogy was just, again, it was so enjoyable. Enjoyment plays a lot for me in, obviously, how much I enjoy a book. If I enjoy a book, even if it has some problems, but I really, really, really enjoyed it, yes, I can recognize those problems. And quite often I don't necessarily give those books five stars. Um, but Enjoyment counts for a lot, is basically what I'm saying, and I enjoyed the heck out of this trilogy, so I am placing this at number three on my list. Apologies if the camera angle just changed again. My battery just died because apparently we're having all the problems today, but jumping straight back into things, my number two book of 2015 was The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Again, I just read this book in December and I absolutely loved it. This is an amazing classic mystery story that follows a man who basically meets a woman on the road to London who he then realises has escaped from a mental asylum, but he doesn't say anything to police and the story just kind of jumps off from there. This is... It's just an amazing book. It is really long. It's like 700 pages, but it's just so enjoyable. At no point in the story was I bored. The pacing is perfect. It's slow in some parts. It's really fast in some parts, but they all like kind of work equally. It has a great sibling relationship. It has some kind of romance in it, but not like hugely, but the romance that is in it was just really beautiful. Um, it has villains to loathe. It just, it has everything. And it is a really, really great book that I absolutely adored. So coming in at number one, my absolute favorite book that I read in 2015 is Shadows by Paula Weston. <sighs> I loved this book. Like I absolutely loved it. This is a, I'm not sure, I don't, 
I think this is called YA or is it called New Adult? It does have a few steamier aspects to it, I guess, but not it's not heavy or anything, but I don't know. It's either YA or NA. And if this follows a girl who about a year ago, its brother died in a horrific car accident that she was also in and she's been recovering from that accident and she has these really vivid dreams every night that she is alongside this guy kind of fighting demons and then this guy literally from her dreams turns up and starts telling her things about her life and about her brother that she doesn't know anything about and um it just kind of like kind of kicks off from there i enjoyed the shit out of this book basically I can't remember the last time I enjoyed a book as much as I enjoyed this one. Like, I loved it. I ship the two people in this harder than I've ever shipped anyone. Like, I, I just adored this book. Now, having said that, this is a first book in a four book series. I haven't read any of the other books yet. So I'm recommending this book purely on its own. I have the second and third book on order and I'm hoping to order the fourth book really soon as well and definitely finish this series. Um, in 2016 because if this first book is anything to go by I'm gonna it's gonna be right up there with some of my favorite series because this was just so 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 good again Australian author coming in at number one good work Australia Aussie 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 oi 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 all that stuff anyway this is an absolutely brilliant book read it if you haven't read it the end so those were my top 15 books of 2015 along with two honorable mentions if you have read any of these books and want to gush with me about them down below or you have any great recommendations for me based off my enjoyment of these books or you just want to talk to me about what your favorite books were you read in 2015 i would love to chat to you guys down below please like this video if you liked it um please subscribe if you want to see more but that's all i have for this video today bye guys